in this. Um, so let's do 0.5. to have some kind of like a horizon line behind him. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle. Actually let's draw some hills and, and we'll do it over here after the the clear screen. Um, and for that I'll use um, our friend the for loop. Uh, for wob of 0, uh, 128, do and um, so I created a loop um, that, that's going to go from 0 to 128. And in here I'm going to use our friend the sign uh, of, of this number uh, to create a kind of like a wave that's drawn across the screen. And then we'll uh, make it move. So that when we're animating my dude, uh, the wave across the screen will kind of like move in the background as well. Let's begin uh, by drawing a line. Um, we're going to, to, to sort of like paint in the, the ground um, and we're going to do it one vertical section at a time. So this wob here represents the entire X of the screen going across. So we're going to start our line from wob 128 which in, this, in the first one is going to be 0, 128 so that's going to be like the bottom of the screen and then we're going to paint up to the point where our horizon is supposed to be. Because we're just painting a vertical line, so it's going to stay on the wob line, um, but the y position of the line is going to change. Um, and here, so to begin with, let's, let's try to, to get it um, my dude y minus 10. So we'll kind of like fix the horizon line at 10 pixels uh, above dude. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's ugly. Um, let's make the floor uh, purple. All right, so that's something. Okay. Um, this is cool, but yeah, I wanted to. I wanted. I wanted something a little more dramatic. I wanted when we when we zoom in. Um, I wanted that horizon line to lower itself so that like you know we're right next to Hrazgo here as he marches. Um, and then as we as we shrink him, the horizon lifts up higher on the screen, and it's like it changes the mood of of, of his marching. Um, so I'm going to put an expression in here that kind of like based on the scale and stuff will adjust where where Hrazgo is going to be. So I'm just going to like subtract forty divided by my dude scale. So what does that do? Okay, well it moved it over there. Whoa. It goes this way. It goes this way. Alright. So far so good. So again, like we're painting this 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 purple rectangle one line at a time and it currently doesn't have the the waves in it yet. That's the next step. Um, but yeah we're we're painting it in like one vertical segment of line at a time so that we could add a hill to it. So now I'm going to create a local hill. Um, and it's going to be a sign of uh, wob times something. Let's say two. And then we're going to multiply it by the amplitude. Right? So I'm going to say, um, say 10. And then I'm going to add that hill to our y value, our moving y value. So I'm just going to say plus hill. All right, that's not doing anything. What did I mess up? Um, sine of wob times 2. Maybe this is not... It's like too big and we're not seeing anything. So let's say 0 0.02. All right, that's something. 
Here we go, hills. The ugly hills. And they're very static. But they move with the with the business. Um so here let's um let's add some time to it. So I'm just going to plus time. So the time function, I coiled it, throw it out there before when we were doing the uh, the errors um, demo, uh, where I just like used it in the code. Uh, but it basically counts how many seconds have passed uh, from the beginning of the execution of your program, and it returns a value in seconds. So um, by adding a little bit of time to this sine wave, I'm hoping to be able to make the background move. And there it is, and it's moving, moving very fast. Um, but yeah, notice where I've done it. Um, I have here my wob, which is my horizontal like like wave value that I was drawing on the screen, um, and then inside of the sign, I have added time. And because it's going too fast, I'm just going to multiply it by some, you know, something to shorten it. Let's do two. This probably is too fast. Uh, I don't know how fast the, the sprite is going to be once we do the flipbook animation. This is better. And then 10 is maybe too big, so let's do 5. Alright, those are like nice hills. I like this. So like, we can zoom in and we're like, pause with the man, traveling the land. Or, you know. Little guy, Horasco. Helicopter view of his life, you know, so insignificant next to this vast open desert, you know, what is in his mind? Will we ever know? We, we feel for him because we are right down with him, experiencing his plight, blah blah blah. Anyway, yeah, he's very static right now because he's just like standing there. And this, this like, this world is just like bidding him to keep walking, but he's not. So let's uh. Fix that.